And, you, and your offense did pile up 450-ish yards of total offense. I I don't remember. I didn't, well, let me see here. Let me just grab that number. It's right here in front of me. Uh, your offense, a total, we have a total of 425 yards of offense, 21 first downs. It seemed to me like, especially in your running game, you could exert your will. You were moving the ball uh, up and down the field at will uh, in that running game in particular. How did you feel about the effectiveness of the uh, the Yellow Jacket offense today? Yeah, I think we did we did good on our, our game plan for the run. Uh, we knew that if we we just knew who we, we who we had to block and we just had to communicate. And if we did that, we were going to move the ball down the field. We weren't going to get big chunks. We knew that we, it would be two, three yard gains. But as long as we move the chains, I'll, that, that's good for us. Well, I know it's it's a victory, and I know that that's the important thing. That's what you guys are focusing on. Of course, that focus will change quickly with Round Valley, and I want to ask you about them in a moment. But first, I want to ask you about. NAU, the Northern Arizona University Lumberjacks have made you an offer to go and play football for their school, their football team. Uh, Division One. I mean, uh, this is this is the real thing, the real deal. It's gotta, it's gotta make you feel pretty good and pretty happy about getting that big offer. I don't know what your decision is going to be. Maybe you might want to share that with us tonight. I don't know, but how did that feel to hear from NAU and to hear from them in such a big way? Uh, it, it was a blessing. Just being, I had to. I knew I was gonna have to be patient, but it, it's hard when trying to be patient and just be positive. Like you got this or they're gonna like someone's gonna offer someone's gonna someone's gonna believe in you but covid really uh like slowed down the recruiting process so i knew i just had to be patient and i knew it was gonna happen but for right now i'm just gonna keep everything open and just just have fun this season you put a lot of work into getting that offer into getting a chance to play at the next level a lot of work uh, personal private uh, private coaching quarterback coaching and so on do you want to uh, give a word of advice to the young football players out there who might have that dream, who might want to play at the next level someday? What would you tell those young guys out there? Yeah, it starts when you're a freshman. You gotta. It starts in the classroom. When you come freshman year, you got to be able to get straight A's, get B's. But you just got to be ready to work. And you're not going to be the best right off the bat. It, it takes time. And as long as you just come in the offseason, you grind it out, you're, you're going to be great at what you do. Yeah, just keep on working, right? Mm -hmm. keep, keep on working and, and know what the end goal is and keep that in mind. So let's talk about next week, Round Valley. You, you get them at your place. You get them, uh, pull them out of the friendly confines of the dome where it's so tough for people to go in and take victories away from Round Valley. Now they got to come to your place and prove something. Will you guys be ready? What will you guys do in the next seven days to get ready for the Round Valley Elks? We know that they're going to be tough and competitive. They have a really good team. They beat, I think they're undefeated in our region and we know that we're gonna have to come out and play hard competitive football and we're just gonna have to follow the game plan and if we do that we'll have a shot all right pj great job congratulations on your win tonight here at sholo thank you final score again 28 to 14 blue rich has knocked off sholo on the sports on radio game of the week it's presented by hatch toyota